In this video, I'll share all the things that I like and also all the things that I do not like about the all new Scion Smooth Q3. Hey, what's up guys? Julian from smartphonefilmmakingpro.com here, the ultimate online course about smartphone filmmaking. And today, yet again, we will be talking about the all new Scion Smooth Q3. You guys seem to be very interested in this gimbal and definitely if you would like to see anything specific, definitely write me a comment down below so that I can cover it in the full review that will be coming very soon. But for today's video, I have created a list of all the things that I like and also all the things that I do not like about the Scion Smooth Q3. And I would say, let's not waste any more time and let's hop into my first pro. So the first thing that I do like about this gimbal is the carrying case that you get when you buy this gimbal. You know, I've said it before in the first impressions video, it's super compact and yet it looks awesome and it also carries everything that you need with it and it also offers some protection for your gimbal. With, you know, the little pouch that you get from DJI, it also looks looks nice and it's portable, but it offers no layer of protection whatsoever. With a case from Zion, I feel very comfortable putting this in my backpack or just carrying the gimbal like this. And I really like this. And it's also just very small and also very portable. So that's definitely a thing that I like very much about this gimbal. Next up, let's talk about the first thing that I do not like about this gimbal. And actually it's not something about the gimbal itself, but about the app that you get to use with this gimbal. I've also said this before, you do not have to use the ZY Cami app. And in case you're interested in a full walkthrough of the app, I have a 16 minute video where I go into all the different settings on the channel or definitely click on this annotation if you are interested in it. But I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of this app. Actually, when you download it and when you start using it for the very first time, you have to dial in a lot of different, you know, personal information. And you know, that's just something that I personally do not like. I do not like to give away so much personal data from myself. And also the next thing is you do not get the absolute best quality when you're using this app and overall the functionality and I just do not feel comfortable using it. And I've also heard from other people or from you guys that on Android, the app is even worse. And also if you look at the ratings in the app store or in the play store, you can actually see that not many people are very happy with this app. So this is definitely a con, but actually this is not a deal breaker at all because actually you do not have to use the ZY Cami app to shoot with your gimbal. You could be using Filmic Pro or you could also be using something like the stock camera app. If you're using an Android phone or like a Samsung Galaxy S21, you could just be using the Pro camera app and you will be able to get the best quality possible out of your phone. And since we were already talking about compatibility with third party apps, this is actually my second con and the second thing that I do not like about this gimbal and that is that it does not work natively with Filmic Pro. I've tried it out just a minute before I was recording this video to see if Filmic Pro or if Scion updated this but no, as of recording of this video, Filmic Pro does not work with the Scion Smooth Q3. But wait a second, does this mean that you cannot use Filmic Pro with the Scion Smooth Q3? And the clear answer is no. But if you would like to use the start stop button, this is something that will not be working. Or if you would like to use the zoom rocker, which by the way, you should never be using because it's actually just zooming digitally. And you can do this in the post-production anyway. This is not working within Filmic Pro. But if you dial in all the settings manually and you press the start and stop button, you know, just by pressing on it, well, then you can still be using Filmic Pro to get the absolute best quality possible with the Zion Smooth Q3. But next up, let's go to my second thing that I really like about this gimbal. And I think this is a category that is even more important than the compatibility. And that is the overall steadiness of the gimbal. When I was using this gimbal and when I watched the footage back, I was very surprised with the steadiness of the footage. No matter if I was running, if I was doing parallax shot or just straight push in shots, or if I was using it in low mode, which actually also works very good, all the different shots came out super smooth and just extremely steady. And also just a little side note, because I personally, I am a professional filmmaker, so I'm used to shooting on glide cams and gimbals and so on. But I also gave this gimbal just as it is with this setup to my girlfriend that never has shot any films. And 
you know, she also got some very nice looking shots, some very steady shots. So next up, let's come to the third thing that I really like about this gimbal, and that is the mode switching. If you're used to using a DJI OM4, for example, switching between the different modes is horrible because you always have to use the DJI Memo app that in my opinion is just as horrible as the ZY Cami app. On the Cyan Smooth Q3, on the other hand, you just have a little mode button where you can switch between four different modes and these are basically the most important modes that you will be using anyway. If you are into the ZY Cami app, you can even switch between, I think, one or two more modes, but these are actually, you know, some very special modes like the spin shot mode and inception mode and so on. If you wanna get access to all the different modes, yes, you do need to use the ZY Cami app, but for 99% of all of my shots, I was just using it as it is and never opened the app. So especially compared to all the other gimbal options that I know, this is by far the best mode switching that I have ever experienced. And the last thing that I really like about this gimbal is the overall battery life. This basically lasts for absolutely ever. You know, I've used this a ton to shoot in various different cities and outdoor and out of cars and so on. So I was actually very much putting it through its paces and I think I only charged it once which is very impressive. Overall battery life is absolutely awesome and you will basically always get through a full day of filming without having any problems. And the last thing that I do not really like but it's also just if you compare it to the DJI OM4 is the overall setup. You know I've also said this before the balancing part of this gimbal it's not very difficult it's actually super easy if you want to know how it works I have a separate video about it but if you compare the setup of this to the DJI OM4, I think it's still a little more complicated, especially for people that are not used to using gimbals and that are not used to balancing their gimbal. So overall, I have to say I'm a huge fan of the Cyan Smooth Q3. This actually is my go-to gimbal right now. It replaced my DJI OM4 for most things. And yeah, if you guys would like to learn more about smartphone filmmaking, if you would also like to be able to create those super smooth and stunning shots, and if you would also like to be able to, you know, to not only shoot them, but also edit them professionally, you should definitely check out Smartphone Filmmaking Pro. We have created a totally free 40 minute webinar for you guys where I share my top five secrets to shooting cinematic videos with your smartphone. Just click the very first link below that like button to sign up for free and you can watch it whenever you like. And just one thing that I forgot to mention, you can get started with a full smartphone filmmaking pro course for just $5.99 a month. So our goal is to make it available to everyone to step up your smartphone video quality. But that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some value out of it. Like I said before at the beginning, make sure to write me down in the comments what you would like to see in the full review. But that's it for now, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.